I don't really know until uh, I try not to think about it too much until the moment I'm walking on the stage. Only when the show starts, then shh, I am transported from another planet to where I am. I'm just looking at the bill. You mean just when I read it, I feel very um, well appreciative. Obviously, well, I I, uh, I can't believe it that we're still we're headlining. Every time we headline a festival, it's very special, and um, that's it. I, I just feel like uh, we have a lucky spot tonight. There is no secret. There really isn't. Uh, it, it's just uh, we just feel fortunate that people like us for what we are. We're very lucky because this is very natural for us, and maybe uh, they get the honesty from that. You know, just to be yourself. Yeah, I guess no secret, but it does make me feel youthful. I really enjoy recording a lot, and I, I've been lucky enough to uh, participate in a lot of recording sessions in my life. And uh, I look forward to the next one. I'm always looking forward to the next one. It's probably my favorite thing to do. It's not really a comparative process or anything like that where I compare it to other recording sessions. Every recording session is what it is, and but the goal is the same, and that's to come up with something good. When you're making a record, you're pretty much consumed with that uh, agenda. So the decision was made to go in the studio, and once the process starts, yeah, it's just the same thing. You know, you just try to put something down on um, the tape, let's just say the tape, the best as possible. You know, entertain yourself. Just be, uh, you know, at the end of the day, be yourself again. It's always like a, a big effort for me, you know, you know, just to, uh, I think I put too much pressure on myself. I can say that the whole process of recording was just like all the other records that we did. It was the same as doing Trump Lamon. It was the same being in the studio, same feeling really with everything about it so it was very easy I thought to do Indie City as well. I like this guy Baxter Dury he's the son of uh, Ian Dury he's sort of my favorite newish guy. Don't waste your life Claire, don't waste your life Claire don't waste the things that you might do And I love you so I just heard like Queens of the Stone Age is kicking ass And um, I, I like a lot of their albums And uh, so I like that I like that I don't know if I'm inspired by it But uh, I like it It may be all the same in the way that it's just got to be good to be noticed or to get played. I think it's the same formula as back then. It's got to be good 